Better keep up, yeah. That's a fern. Yeah. Hit your girl with a dance. She ain't okay. Yeah. Cause I got insurance. Yeah. Get yeah. her number one star. Yeah. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Easy TV bringing you guys another division video. Today I have a build that I call the Ninja Shredder build. Let's get straight into the build, man. So, of course, by the name, you know I have the Ninja Backpack. Of course, it's a hybrid. One of the deadliest hybrid builds you can make with any type of weapon as an assault rifle, SMG, whatever you want to make. All right. I have a, a three-piece Predator Smart, two-piece Banshee, Ninja Backpack. You already know it adds the, the one to whatever gear set that you have or whatever. So, really, it's a four-piece Predator, three-piece Banshee. So, I'm going to get straight into my guns. Of course, one of the most deadliest submachine guns, MP7. The rate of fire on here is just ridiculous. It's on a little bit of the low end as in damage, but that's because it shoots too fast, but it's still a crazy gun. So I'm at 170K uh, standing DPS, 20% critical hit chance, almost 20% uh, damage and like over 1,000 RPM, and it holds 44 in the mag. I'm running competent adept responsive one of the best combinations to run probably if not the best combination to run for uh assault rifle uh, assault rifles and smg depending on your build and of course i have uh i have critical hit damage magazine a small optic scope with critical hit damage critical hit chance and headshot damage small muzzle 19 percent critical hit damage three percent critical hit chance stability and a small under uh, under barrel, 19% critical hit damage, reload speed, and stability. Now, I run double MP7s just in case I get in trouble. I always have my backup. And uh, this would be um, my responsive, adept, and deadly. You can run responsive, deadly, competent. That's also good as well. Um, and what I have on that one is uh, magazine size, reload speed, rate of fire. Small optics, 18% critical hit damage, stability and critical hit chance. Um, a muzzle that has 7.50% critical hit chance, headshot damage, critical hit damage. And uh, under barrel of 19% critical hit damage, 2% accuracy and 5% uh, reload speed, okay? You can tell by the stats. I haven't popped anything. This is just standing stats. This is not last stand. I'm at 322K fire uh, DPS. 324k toughness and 123 scale power um the pieces that i'm running I, of course a god road uh predators mark chest piece roll for firearms eight percent skill haste six thousand sixteen thousand health and ammo capacity this is like one of the best you can get for any type of like armor piece and the the armor is is rolled really nice um and i have a stamina mob with health firearms mob with health uh, the mask, the mask, of course, Predator's Mark mask. It has critical hit chance. You don't have to have critical hit chance. You could put on skill power. Anything else you want that can be rolled in that category. Uh, it's roll for firearms, and it has a, I believe, a firearm mod with health. And then uh, Banshee knee pads. Um, these are good Banshee knee pads. All damn near god roll, except for the armor. The armor is okay, but uh. Roll for firearm, 16,630 health. And then I, I think it also has a firearm mod with health, pulse critical hit chance mods. Now with this build, I advise you to stack as much critical hit chance as possible, uh, just so you can hit for more crits, okay? Especially when you don't have critical hit damage um, deadly as a major talent for your first gun to even get that, that critical hit damage, all right? All right, Ninja Backpack, of course, Roll for electronics, 13,000 health, burn resistance, good, because, you know, in last stand, a lot of people use turrets, so that's good as well. And I have skill power mod, um, electronic skill power mod, and two post critical hit chance mods. That's also, like I said, stacking that critical hit, as much critical hit chance as possible. Uh, God roll Predator Smart Gloves, 1,000 SMG damage, 1261 firearms, 16% crit critical hit damage, and 550 critical hit chance. All right, and then the last piece will be the Banshee. It could be on the better side as in the electronics, but you know, in last stand, it heightens your number, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the health on it, major attribute is okay, it's 7,300. 
and then I also have a post critical hit chance mod. All right. Now, before I get into the other stuff, there's different variations you can make with this build. One, you don't have to run a four piece predator. I only do it for the bleed effect because it put people's in pa pe pe it put people in panic and then it makes them use a med kit. They also can die from the bleed. But what you could do instead of running a four piece predator, you can take that predator's chest piece off and you can run a vigorous. Now, the people who run vigorous, you know, nine times out of 10, they want more skill power. So the easiest way to fix that is take away some of the firearms. You can rock with 53 to 5,500 firearms with this build and hit crazy and just take away a little bit of the stamina. I mean, uh, not stamina, but the toughness, as in most of the pieces are rolled for health. So you will want skill power. Add that to your skill power. Get at least 200 and I mean, uh, 190, 200 K skill power. And then you got you. You have that booster shot overheal crazy hard hitting dps that kind of build i like w rocking with it just like this when you run it to me it don't matter if you have one of those type of builds i shred so fast i will shred through that overheal and your body armor and you healing again through a med kit so it just really don't make me uh, uh, make me any difference but um all right let's get into the character and i'm gonna show you guys the critical hit chance that i have is at 35 percent then you add the, you know, the the two percent that you have for, I guess, um, the two percent that you have for the critical hit chance mods. I'm guessing what that's like another eight percent. So that's over 40 and then add in the pulse itself. So uh, I guess let me see my pulse. Uh, is uh, 18 percent, 18.90 percent. So you just add that to it. So that's a good critical hit. Uh critical hit chance build i also run booster just for the extra damage you don't have to run booster you could run overdose just to have that overheal but i like to have as much damage as possible with this build uh the talents that i run for this is a uh, critical save uh combat medic um i don't know about this this i think i had this on another build um strike back i wouldn't well you can't strike back is okay I would rather use a uh, tactical advance. If you're one of those players that go from cover to cover, you do get that extra damage from that. And then uh steady hands is good. And on the move, I would, I would think you guys would need on the move for this. Um, let me make sure that I didn't forget anything. Uh, that, that builds. All right, let's go. I'm gonna just show you guys a little bit of numbers or whatever for the bill it's not bad at all like i said i shred through a lot of people it don't matter how tough you are or whatever all right so of course it's the predator's mark it's hitting for 47k critical hit damage and that's simply because you know we don't have deadly as a um, um, um a major talent uh for the first gun so 47 and then with booster shot we getting uh almost 60. So the gun is hitting for like 30k a bullet. DPS is at 414. Toughness is at 351, which is very high. And you stack in that that adept is in place too. So you have that critical hit chance as well. And you're hitting for you see you have more yellow numbers than you do anything. So this is an all-around good build. I am gonna have a little gameplay after this video. Other than that, please guys subscribe like comment if you guys have any questions share this if you have any division friends or whatever and i'm out man we are active they've gone ahead
until tactical boosts are available. Charlie is neutral. Seconds until tactical boots can be enabled. Multiplier is now active for rogue agents. Upload just hit fifty percent. Taking Charlie. Wiping the floor with them. neutral. Objectives. You got him down. Now knock him out. Prepare for the mercy rule. It's mercy rule time. That's a victory. 